Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. Adina Niazi was born in Kabul to a well-to-do family. Her father was a governor, and her mother was one of the first women to go abroad for higher education. Maryam Niazi encouraged her daughter to do the same. Adina was a professor at Kabul University when she left Afghanistan to study Sanskrit in India. She never saw her father or mother again. When I was in India, Afghanistan got occupied and I had no other uh, option. Uh, so I became a refugee because I couldn't go back because I didn't agree with the occupation of my country. I didn't agree with the violation of human rights in Afghanistan. So it was not safe for me to go back. She came to Canada in 1988 as a government-sponsored refugee. Adina experienced isolation, loneliness, and feelings of hopelessness. She couldn't find suitable employment, even though she had two master's degrees and spoke six languages. The immigration counselor suggested that factory work would be her best option. Instead, Adina became involved in an Afghan organization and recognized the needs of Afghan women were not being addressed, and so with a small group of women began to tackle the concerns specific to Afghan women. In 1990, she founded Afghan Women's Organization with a mandate to assist Afghans, particularly women and other newcomer communities in their integration and adaptation to Canada. As executive director, Adina spearheaded the expansion of the organization to include community economic development programs, employment training, and a youth and seniors program. The AWO also organizes national conferences and facilitates the resettlement of Afghan and other refugees overseas through a refugee sponsorship program. At the moment, we have four locations here. We have our over 53 staff members for time. I mean, we have a variety of programs, not only in Canada, also in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Adina has established underground schools and income-generating projects in Kabul and refugee camps in northern Pakistan. She's done all she could in order to promote the cause of the Afghan women and the larger community. Um, and it, it's been wonderful uh, working with her. I, I've, I admired her for her um, uh, dedication and um, truthfulness, dedication, and the amount of uh, work that she has done uh, for the community. A community leader, an inspiration, and positive role model, Adina currently sits on the board of the Canadian Center for Victims of Torture, the NGO Government Joint Committee on Private Sponsorship, Board of Partnership Afghanistan Canadian Advisory of Women's Rights in Afghanistan Project, and the Canadian Coalition in Support of Afghan Women. She continues to be invited to policy consultations on human rights situations in Afghanistan by government departments. I always continue doing work in the community because the, there is always need. Because the people coming here, they have the talent, they have the ability, they have the commitment, they want to stand on their feet, they want to be a contributor in the society. But all they need, they need support, motivation and some resources. In July 2002, McLean's magazine recognized Adina as one of the top 10 Canadians. She received the Persons Award from Leaf Action Education Fund and Women's Intercultural Network. The Center for Refugee Studies at York University recognized her with the Vincent Kelly Award. In 1998, Adina finally returned to her homeland, hidden under cover of a Taliban-mandated Shadur. She was one of two representatives from Canada selected to participate in the Loya Jirga, the Grand Assembly, to elect the new government after the Taliban rule. Here's a woman who came to Canada because she had to escape where she was. She made a life for herself here, but it was a life devoted to the people in her community who were in need. And on top of that, she goes back to the country and seeks out the needs particularly of the girls and women. The woman doesn't stop. She's devoted the last 20 years of her life improving the lives of others. And most of all, she remains true to her mother, who told her, live with dignity and self-respect. Adina Niazi has indomitable will.